Hey, can't win them all. Oh, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumping Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid, man. So, we gotta do a release recap for these Travis Scott Olives, man. Pretty hyped up. Like, we got some big bangers in the past few weeks. Lost and Founds last week. And then we got the Travis Scotts this week. Like, it's been crazy. I'm surprised we did it back to back. Like, I, I wouldn't mind having, you know, the Lost and Founds release next week but you know kind of pace it out a little bit but hey it's all good man plenty of content for you guys and so this release was it was actually pretty crazy so we'll talk we'll go down the line because how did everyone do today i didn't do too well so it was all good but i'm not gonna lie a win is a win i was able to get a w in preschool size for my youngest son i did actually hit on the travis scott's hey this is my very first hit on travis scott even though it is a preschool size, a hey, a W is a W. I'll take it. So the Travis Scott site, I, I uh, basically, I know Raffi and Roscoe, they went live all day. I know we were waiting all day for that release. And I was kind of thinking like, dude, it's just a raffle. And I knew that it was going to be all that, to be honest. I got my email notification at like 12.03 a.m. Right at midnight. I almost missed it, actually, because like... I was kind of going through my emails and I was just kind of like, okay. And then I saw a notification. I just, you know, you know how you do. You just kind of like keep looking through your emails, see if you got a W or not. That's usually how they do it. They won't tell you if you got an L, but they'll let you know if you got a W. They'll send you an invoice and then you complete your order. I, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God. For, first of all, I thought it was a, a men's size, size 13, but you know, it's all good. I just got through. I, I actually paid at around like close to 12 30 i almost missed it i almost missed it man and i complete my order hey this is for my youngest son my oldest son already got hit two travis scott's already he got the black phantom in the reverse mochas and you know warm at disney i was trying to get my son to wear the re my youngest son the reimagined when we went to re disney uh one of the workers at the store is actually mixed up the sizes so he wasn't able to wear it so all he had was pandas but now my youngest son is going to get some travis scott's so I'm, I'm happy for them. It's all good. Got for retail. Um, shipping and tax was 20 something dollars. Like the retail was $60 and shipping was 21 and then tax was another $5. So I paid about $85 shipped to me, which is again, hey, no complaints. It was a retail W. Crazy thing about the Travis Scott site. I swear I see way more preschool W's and taller W's than the women's sizing or, you know, the adult sizing. Like, I barely saw any W's. That's usually how it is with the Travis Scott site. I mean, they use Travis Scott sites. I think a lot of people think like you know they get like over a thousand some pairs. They really don't. Like they maybe get a maybe a hundred or something like that pairs. They don't really get a lot. You know, we're waiting all day to enter, the, enter these raffles, thinking that we'll get a W. And they had you know the name Travis Scott. Mainly, it's for Travis Scott to sell his merch. Uh, I was, I did get one merch this time. I was, you know, I, I got a hoodie. You know, it was all good. I didn't get, I didn't go crazy and bought like all the t-shirts. Trust me, buying the merch does not hire your chances and opportunity to get it. I have spent way too much money to figure that out. I keep it 100 with you guys. I'm pretty sure all those like, you know, adult sizing is, they were gone. They've been gone. They might, they maybe had like a couple pairs here and there, but they weren't on that release date. I'm moving on to Sneakers app. They did do a 10 minute draw today. I did, we just, we saw what happened, right? Um, all L's across the board. I took fat old L's. Like, you know, hey, I didn't mind the, you know, the draw. Like, that's why I feel like people like, like people like to enter in. Like they don't want to have like the situation we had with the loss of bounds where you couldn't even enter in. It was way more smoother, able to get in. But the results was different, you know. Usually when they have a 10 minute draw, it's a lot tougher because more people are able to get in. Uh, I was hoping Nike would be better at filtering bots. And it seems like a majority of the people did end up taking L's. There were some W's, don't get me wrong. Hey, shout out to everyone that was able to get W's. Congrats. This is probably going to be the biggest W of the year. But I feel like a lot, majority of the people did end up taking L's, you know, which was kind of expected, you know, it's, it's Travis Scott's, you know, everyone's going to go after it, it was going to be crazy. Thing is, like, so we got stock numbers before the release, which was over 105 pairs. It was technically, according to the stock numbers, it was 108 
thousand pairs. Who, I don't know where people get these numbers from because like I definitely did not feel like a whole over a hundred thousand pairs. It there's no way. It felt very low. Like it felt like maybe 50, 60,000 pairs, maybe. Uh, the way how the majority of the stock was, the way how it, it was basically like, it, I, I'm to my surprise, according to this stock number, uh, it is a women's shoe, mind you, but majority majority of the, the most the size, it's, it looks like bigger sizes had the most stock when it's a women's shoe. Usually, the women's sizing, like a size 7, women's 7, women's 8, women's 9 are the most stock, but the highest stock, according to this list, was... A, a women's 10 and a half, which is a men's nine, and also 11, which is a men's nine. You know, obviously, it's my size, so I'm pretty sure everybody went for it. And also a women's 13, which is 11 and a half in men's. There's like about 11,000 pairs in a size eight, it's about 10,000 pairs. But like the smaller sizes was about, you know, less than 5,000 pairs for the smaller sizes, which is I'm really surprised because this is supposed to be a women's shoe. Obviously, you know who's gonna really buy these things is gonna be men's you know you know men are the main ones buying these things so i guess that kind of makes sense but i'm just saying they claim these to be a women's shoe i know i know e uh eu didn't you guys get uh ea or some of that and there's only like thirty thousand pairs to the whole general eu so you know on sneakers it just seems kind of you know that actually seems kind of correct actually like that's that's how I felt with the U.S. Like we maybe got fifty thousand pairs or something. It was a hundred thousand pairs. I'm just you know compared to what I'm seeing like online and all the people that I know. Like all the homies took L's. You know I don't think any YouTuber I, I know got an actual W. You know hey, but they did shouts to them. But I'm just saying, just it didn't feel like a W. You know like or it didn't feel like that much stock. Like a hundred thousand pairs. That's a lot of stock. Like that's a deep, a really good amount. And I know Travis Scott and. Especially a public people's gonna say bots, but I tell you, hey, I talked to the homie, uh, Nikki B. Shouts my boy Nikki B. He's you know, he was telling me like he, he, none of his cool group in the in the body community hit on the adult sizes. They hit on preschool sizes, but not adult sizing. Like I said, man, these things were really tough to get. This was probably gonna be one of the hardest shoes of the year. So if you got a W in these things, hey. This is probably your biggest hit of the year, man. I was able to get a W for the Lost and Founds, uh, you know, for the last restock. So. For the whole entire year, I cannot complain about no L's for the whole year. That's all I'm gonna do. No more, I can't complain. I'll just mention it, like, ah, you know, it is, it is what it is, it's all good. But real quick, if we wanna talk about resale, I will make a separate video about this, probably later, uh, drop it tomorrow, stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, resale, I, I, like I expected, once everyone took L's on sneakers, the price was gonna go a little up. Uh, especially in women's sizing. Wifey size is still up there around like 650. I really want to get wifey a pair because this is a woman's shoe, you know. Um, anyone got a size seven and a half women's DM me. I'm also buying sizes too as well, like bigger sizes like from 11 and up. So DM me on that or 10 and a half and up. I actually would like to have a 10 and a half. But anyways, um, sizes kind of went up a little bit. They're still like bigger sizes are still at the high 1000 mark a big collector and you guys really want these things and if you have the capital for it man if you, if you want to wait for your best price point guys be patient on these things do not panic buy i have a feeling these things are going to go down a little bit i mean if you guys want to compare these things to like the reverse mochas i don't see these things being higher than the reverse mochas in my opinion i think the reverse mocha is more of that you know travis scott's known for that mocha colorway so i just don't see it being higher than that that's all I'll say, you know? Uh, but, you know, just stay tuned. I just say, guys, if you really want a pair, be a little patient. Be patient, guys. Hey, man, that's pretty much, uh, man, That was. it's been a crazy, crazy weeks, past few weeks, guys. Like, we just got Lost and Founds, Shock Drop, uh, Thunder Fours, now the Travis Scotts. Hey, it's been crazy. It's been a great ride, man. Um, hey, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more craziness later on this year in 2023, so just stay tuned for that. But, hey, I can't believe this might be the last Travis Scott. It's crazy crazy i still got a review video i'll probably do two videos in one day because i have to drop that eventually but yeah man hey good luck getting the, uh good luck trying to get these things if you guys are wanting to get a pair i say just right now guys if you guys can please be patient don't fall into that whole full mile i know people kind of falls in that sometimes but you know just be patient a little bit anyway guys uh that's pretty much in the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it guys uh next week in back in miami may 6th i will be at the sneaker swap 365 event guys so i hope to see you guys there should be a good time man i'm coming back i wasn't able to go back to the last event so 
happy, happy to be back. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Push.